challenge. So far, the players have won these free trips to Universal Studios Hollywood along with various Nintendo prizes, $250. Sorry, I know you guys are really into that. No, you're really into it, but we've got fantasy worlds to save. Here's the thing. Um, given that my mic is now just sitting on my table, it's at a bit of an angle. It is closer to my keyboard than it used to be, which means the clicking might be so bad. Um, let me know, and I'll figure something out. I have a backup plan that should help. But uh, I don't know if it's going to be too clicky, because it's like right there. I might be able to just um, be a little softer touch. But yes, here's my here's my homeboy. Why is he Ezio? Because he's a he's a fucking pimp. That's why. He's a pimp and he's a pro. Uh, so I got out of this for a while, and um, I'm really behind. <laughs> I am shockingly behind. I have like seven or eight dungeons to do, and they're all just stacked up. So uh, I'm also did not catch the Hildebrand quest. So I'm like two two segments behind. Keyboard's a little loud, but it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, if it gets if it gets annoying, just let me know, and I can I can try some other stuff. I apologize. Had some equipment break, and uh, it's one day out on Amazon. So, but yes, uh, I'm behind on the Hildebrand quests. Who is a gentleman scholar and amateur detective inspector? Yeah. Uh, I also need to, uh, I might as well queue for dungeons while I'm doing this. Uh, can you explain to us this game? It's tough, man. There's a lot to explain. This is, a. Uh, this is probably the most, like, content-dense MMO I've ever played. And it can be all over the map in terms of tone and activity. So, yeah, walking you, bottom lining for you is actually really hard to do. I think it kind of follows traditional MMO stuff where there's, what those battle skills above the HP bars? Yeah. So I have status effects, uh, curing spells, and um, heal over time stuff. There's a lot. This game is very complicated. Does this one tie up the rest of the FF games? No. No, absolutely not. That is not something that can happen. No. Yeah. Thing is, I'm like, I'm kind of out of out of touch. So I'm afraid queuing for a dungeon and being really slow and having everybody get mad at me. But usually, there's there's like a first time finish uh, bonus, so people are usually pretty cool with it. Usually pretty cool. It's again worth the sub, uh, considering I'm a poor person. The multitude of classes draws me in, but is the combat questing fun? I think so. There's actually pretty good writing there. There's a pretty good cast of characters. It's it's like a pretty above average. Uh, fantasy action po politics anime, if you want to think about it that way, because that's basically what it is, paired with uh, combat combat mechanics that I actually like, uh, and a, like really high grade uh, audio visual assets. So like great music, and really maybe not so technically amazing anymore, but definitely artistically intense bosses. It's it's high poly like floating dudes with like capes twirling around them and and trans-dimensional sparkles at their feet and they cast like the most anime sparkly shit you've ever seen. The grind is boring solo. Yeah, it's reflective enough for me. Whenever I was whenever I was doing story quest solo, I would just like watch something else. I would definitely have something on. That is not a demand your full attention kind of activity. I also got uh, pretty crafty at um, playing it on a controller. Like I would stream it into the other room and just play on the couch. Which, I didn't ever really want to do dungeons like that, because I didn't want other people to suffer if I, like, missed a button. <sighs> if I butts play with I get back into this game again. Yeah, I... I had... A, um... Oh, man, I, I can't even do roulettes. That's how far behind I am. Uh, let me queue up for the next... the di next story quest here. Mad King's Trove? What are you? Ah! Drowned City of Scala. Alright. So we get to the bottom here. 
Nope. Is it a raid? Or a trial? Sometimes it is hard for me to find. Uh, the menus could use some work. Um, at least I do remember there always being a bump of trying to remember how things are organized when I'm getting back into the game. Maybe hitting some my level or six, depending on where you left off. I know I have that when I go back to the game. Does it not sink you? So far, 14 feels more like you earn something by putting in time than any other MMO I've played. It's still centered on the one character, which is superb. Yes, I do like that all progress ties in, can tie into one character. I always thought it was weird when other MMOs separated that stuff. Well, how about this? Um, did you find her density skull? Oh, it's fucking locked. Oh, crap. That's exactly what you were talking about. Okay. Gotcha, Black. Sorry. So what a... Fuck, man. Um, that sucks. So I... This is what I don't like about 14. That means I have to do grinding activities for lower levels, which are not going to be populated because everybody's moved on. Um, and I have to find... Usually there's a vendor that if you just do roulettes can sell you better stuff based on this. That sucks. Yeah, how do you... Um, is, what's the fastest way to get item level stuff? The market board gear? Good call. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to spend time doing leveling just to play content that's already out. That's the thing I wish they could just skip. Alright, what do I got here? 285. Oh, all my shit's 85. Alright, well, I guess just... Replace it one at a time. Huh? Oh. Can you search by item level? Crap. Those are expensive. Does it automatically search by item level? That's pre-sorted by item level? Okay, thank you. I can only get like one or two pieces of gear. Maybe there's something that's cheaper somewhere else. 30? That's not so bad. But it kind of needs to be over 300 and not just 300. But whatever. Oh wait, where'd it go? Oh, I looked, clicked on the wrong thing. Ugh. Guys, I think I have, I think I have an MMO flat tire. It's not so bad. You should have some 290 from the 70 job quests. The 70, I, I think I've done it and I don't, I don't know. God damn, it's so expensive. I don't have any money either, I guess. Damn, Daniel Craig is fucking ugly. Check for a coffer in your inventory. I do have some Cheerio seals, a few. What would a coffer even look like? I have some silver pieces and some materia I can sell. Ooh. Oh. Need a glamour gear. Man. Oh. For the Easter stuff? Yeah, I saw the in the launcher they have stuff. Last page? Like here? Or there. 
I don't know. Uh, there's a currency tab somewhere. I don't remember where. Man, it's been a while. Oh, wait, was that it? No. They moved it? Cool. Okay. I have those kinds of seals. Those are not the same, are they? I have 114 Centurio seals. I don't know if that's useful. Well, I can keep doing this mission until I think of something else to do. Enforcements, going to gonna get your day started at four. It's nice, relax. Time to run roulettes and dungeons. Ah, uh, there's got to be a way to not do that, right? Damn, man. Why do they make you do that so much? Maybe some gill. Ah, I'm just annoyed. If you ever step away from this fucking thing, you have to grind your way back in, which seems strange. And then they start giving you awards and stuff. And like it, then it actually speeds up. It's, it's so, so odd. They never like take the barriers away, even for older content. Well, maybe I have to run like one or two, one or two roulettes. I guess that's their way of like warming you back up, maybe. Um, you can pay to win the berries all the way up to level 60 and 70 soon. Oh, I guess that doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, where are the vendors that sell that gear now that you spend the uh, whatever the hell is? Where you spend elegant alleg tombstones of mendes mendacity. Ralgar's Reach. I'll go check out. See uh, See what how much stuff costs, what item level it is. See, that's the armor, just standard set or event one. I think it's just standard. I think it's just a set of armor you get for playing the game. What am I sipping on? Uh, orange Vanilla Coke Zero. I need as many flavors in my drinks as possible. Oh, you've been, you've been trying to download this? It's a big game. I didn't know you were into it, Man Mountain. He's back. Or Maybe not. Just got this from when Twitch Prime when I had the free trial. Totally forgot. No game audio. Really? Has it been that way the whole time? Hello, Nasir. Oh my god. Just noticed? Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, guys. I apologize deeply. I should have been paying more attention. Uh, or I should have checked. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Yeah. You guys are... Man, you just... I was just jabbering into, into nothingness this whole time. Deep squats, baby. Ready for it. <sighs> Are they enemy wacky. I love my special boy. Yeah, the Final Fantasy VII squat. The references in this game to Final Fantasy games are, are weird and deep. I 
Oh yeah, there's a 15 event. That is a good point. I didn't I didn't do the uh what was it? Didn't they have a Dragon Quest one? Or was it no, it was Yokai Watch. They did a lot for that. I really didn't touch any of that stuff. They had one for Monster Hunter, right? Yeah, you fight the uh Excelios or whatever it's called. The dragon. The 14 event and 15 was interesting. Oh, I didn't even... I did not even know there was a... Drag or a 15... A 14 event and 15. The only thing I did 15 after launch was the Chocobo Festival, which was... A, it was cute. Uh, so Rail goes Reach, huh? Alright. Where is that? Aha! There's probably going to be a million people here too, if it's the new home base. They had a Dragon Quest event for 11. Oh, that's cute. I'm just trading. Oh, this place, right. Oh boy, I'm going to have to look around a lot. Where are you? That looks like it might be it. Usually it's like three or four people standing right next to each other. Oh, clan members. Shouldn't call them that. Jesus. Uh, okay, so... For 50-60 roulette, I can get 120... Oh, God. Poetics and Mendacity. I think Poetics are so old. They've got to be useless. Yeah, they're not even here. Uh, that's level 360, but it's... Uh, it's so many. Uh, 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 uh. Why, God, why? Serpent Seals? Maybe there's something... I can go down a level. Maybe Poetics I can buy? Shit. Why, man? Why do you do this to me? Hmm. I don't have any of that stuff. Just, I guess there's not even a merchant for stuff lower level than that. Oh, thank you, Logan Webby. Yeah, that's, um... All, all decorations are entirely due to Stephanie's hard work. There's gotta be a way to shortcut this, right? Some activity that just kind of, like, makes it quick. I don't know. Uh. Check Billabo. Who's that? What is that? So it seems like, yeah, it's just mendacity that I have to go after. God, that sucks. Poetics. I mean, is there any use for those at all? NPC next to the board? Okay. By glaze or twine or roborant, whatever that is. Lost to Allegan, okay. Hmm. Okay, so you can do hunts to get gear too. Those are weapons, wow. How do you compare, or can you? I guess like this. 3.30? Okay. I guess that's a different thing to do. Oh, I can actually buy something. Damn it, I can almost... I'll just wait till I can get the coat. I'll do some, some hunts, I guess. Weekly Mark will give you a hundred. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, when you complete a hunt, do you have to turn it in somewhere? Because I've, I've, do, I've done them when I see them. Or do they go away once you've done them? One, two, 
one, two, mark an elite. here you just get the seals one done okay they go away so if you have some active do those and then you can get the new daily ones got it okay i'll go do these then yeah i, I just i always picked them up when i walked by just never really uh went after it i actually have a lot of these jeez oh, clan how are the clan bills different than like they're all clan bills okay there's some that i still got to go murder Seals. Oh, it even tells you. Four. Three. Pesha. Okay, fuck it. I'll just fly around and kill some shit then, I guess. Uh, are the elite marks always there? Can and you probably can't solo them, right? Oh, no case? Logan, I don't know what my computer case is. I'd have to give the weekly. Let me check. I bought it a long time ago. I've just been rotating. I'm not sure what the weekly is. Oh, this one? Yeah. This boy. Elite veteran clan marks. I'll go after that then. There, this one. Yeah. The locks. The weekly, the weekly can be soloed, just harder to find. Okay. Did they spawn randomly? The non A slash S ranks re respawn within the zone pretty rapidly. Like if they die, they'll be back somewhere else in a minute or so. The non A to S ranks? Okay. I mean, A to S ranks pop a lot less often, I'm assuming. They're just field mobs, the weeklies. Oh. This? He's got a name though. Should be maps on the wiki to show spawn points. Yeah. That's where we're at, huh? Thought it wasn't gonna be an MMO for a little bit and it totally was. I was like, I, did, I wasn't even thinking about item level. I was like, good! I made it to so much, like, story content. This is great. Yeah, I've gotten busted busted down with that before, too. I think Destiny 2 did that as well once. And I was just like, why? Why, do you, why are you going to make me grind the end of the last expansion just to start the next one? They just had to kind of tie all their systems together. Uh, I wanted to discover this map. I haven't been there for some reason, I guess. The Dark of Lasting Cumber? I know I'm, I don't know where I'm going. Um, let me look up this stupid map. Oh. Yeah, it's price paper in the nose. I think, I think you're right. I think you're right. Lead mark. The mob is killed weekly. It's time five seconds after death. Great. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Of course, it's like it's in a ring around this entire entire zone. Okay, I guess I'll just start ticking through all the areas. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hey, chat, how are you guys doing? You guys, you guys doing okay? <sighs> Fucking love Aether Punk. That's a good name for it. I never thought about it. Thought about it to be called that before. I always just kind of called it uh, Steampunk, but it's not quite that. It's a little different. Final Fantasy VI was very much that. So is uh, Lost Odyssey. Your aesthetic, just a little bit. Okay, so he potentially spawns around here. I don't see anything. Alrighty. It's also a good time to just discover the rest of the map. Oh, 
possibly here, not there. Pet it out so you can't do it all in a week. Come back every month and pay for the sub. Yeah, that sucks. And is really unnecessary. Uh, I don't think he's back here. Uh, on to the next one. I guess it's over here. Yeah, it's basically all the places I've never been. Weird. Running so hard for Netflix or Amazon or something to throw money into a live action Final Fantasy series? New PG anthology. Got with new stars every season. Yeah, I wonder about that. Like, uh, something like CW levels of production quality. Live action Final Fantasy sounds awful. Yeah, it does. But that's also why I kind of would like to see it. If it's just really corny and stupid. Uh, oh, wait. It's, yeah, over here. Okay. I guess there's one more splorch I haven't discovered. See, it all connects together or whatever. It's achievements. Are you over here, my main? I don't see him. I don't see my sweet boy. And now I get to fly all the way to the other side of the map. Hey. We doing it most now, baby. Oh, you never know until you try? I mean, yeah. That's something I learned with X-Men 2. I think a friend just... I was like marveling, I was like, wow, they really made it good. And he was like, yeah, good writing. Good writing can make anything good. There are a lot of concepts that sound dumb on paper. Just gotta tell a good human story. I could. Some Final Fantasies have gotten close. I, uh, you... Man. I will say, it, it tries it tries to go out there with fantasy, I think, as people often do with sci-fi, which... Is... Is laudable, I guess? Something to be said for that? Just kind of thinking about all the lore work they did with... I think that's I think that's our boy. Yep, there he is. They did with Final Fantasy XIII. There's a lot going on there. Fuck, he's near a minotaur. Can I just pull him? Good. We can go a little further back. Damn it! Really? Uh. Oh, I have a friend. Somebody's fighting. Somebody's probably after the. Tell Mr. Small Nugget. Let us let us combat. Wait. It's. We're going sick on this boy. Can you go check on your download? What are you downloading? Well, I guess you'll let me know later. I did it. Give him a wave and I'm on my way. My little jet, jet car. Okay. So it just disappears? Yeah. Alright. Okay. 15. Oh, I should have set my home Aether. Whatever. 100. That's another. 100. Barstabelle. 
class you're playing as? I am White Mage. Can I do another? I wonder if that one's left over from a previous week. Maybe I can get some good... I'll get a, I'll get a start with this gear, but... Man. It's not going to get me all the way there. It's Barbastel. I was saying it wrong. Which is also why I was Googling it incorrectly. Lower La, La Nocea, or however you say this. Oh. Like a cleric? It's a pretty dedicated healer, like solo burst healer. They just give you some they give you some attack abilities so that you can play alone if you want to. Promise Neverland? Oh no, it's cool. Whenever I really like something, I have a time shitting up about it. I don't remember. Uh, so I don't... I, you might be being harder on yourself than you need to be. Uh, alright. Lower and But yeah, don't sweat it. Whatever it was, there are certainly no hard feelings. If I had WWE Network, I'd probably watch. Why? What's going on today? Is there some kind of wrestling event? Oh, WrestleMania's tonight? Oh shit. And just watch the Reddit feed. Yeah, it's like, uh. Oh, this is like an old zone. I can't fly here. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. Jeez. So, yeah, uh, this is just, hey, have fun. This guy spawns everywhere. So, why don't you just enjoy going all over the map in slow motion? You just enjoy that. I mean, this music is pretty, pretty tight. God damn it! I was hoping I could just fall off the the city, but it may not let me. Moot Mike, thanks for the prime sub. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is man. This is an early zone. What is Promise Neverland? I'm gonna. I'm not only going to dismiss your guilt about gushing about it, but I'm going to ask for a gush. Which is a weird phrase. Gotta watch my phrasing there. It's an anime. Oh! Okay, it's ringing a bell now. I'm wondering if I'd see you play this. Uh, there's not a whole lot of action right now, to be honest. Uh, I'm at a. The, the game was like, hold on now. Can't have you having too much fun there. Consuming too much content. Let's slow that down. Whoa! Oh, all right. Slow down, Maurice. I can't remember it there. Such a good remix. Sadly, I'm gonna whoop this guy's ass too fast. Hold on. Man, that battle theme is so good! I think that's a Final Fantasy 2? Such a good, like, it even does like Final Fantasy intro music. Huh? What? Missed? There's like an add-on quest? I have to go do that. Uh, the game... The game is a pretty good job communicating to you what quests are just for, like, experience and money. And, uh... What, uh, will unlock, like, a new feature or a, a new... Something new. Should I get the weapon? I should probably get the weapon. With uh, seals, right? Because I have plenty now. I'm gonna go back and check for another, another mark. To be continued, memes from JoJo. Ah, that one, all this one lets you do is get a house in the mist zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even have a house. And by you know what? I'm actually gonna. Well, let me. I gotta take it. I gotta unlock everything. 
says the idiot who hasn't played in two years. Yeah, with Trevor, I've never, I never really looked into it, really. Just go get an apartment. I think, oh wait, no, I think I do have an apartment. I just don't remember how to get to it or anything about it. Yeah, usually it's, these quests are just like, hey, look over there, and then gotta find it and show us. Where would I look for it? Because I don't, th I certainly haven't decorated anything. I have like a bunch of decoration shit sitting around in my inventory. I don't know how to get rid of it. I could just store it, I guess. You guys in Instagram may be dressing the Overwatch League, banning the OK emoji, or is that just way too controversial? Um, no, I don't think it's controversial. I just don't know what there is to address. It's like it's their league. It's their league. They can do what they want um, and kind of read the situation how they want. I think, like, I personally, and I think to a lesser extent, Instant Gaming is never going to take take the position of telling companies what they should do only analyzing what's what's happening might be in your portal under residential areas possibly oh yeah maybe probably the free company thing Now there's the estate hall. Yeah. Yeah, the free company place is the only one I have. Probably more of a cultural, cultural issue at this point than Blizzard are trying to avoid association. Yeah. For sure. I thing is, I, despite what some people will insist, I don't think you can be objectively right or wrong about some of this stuff. Um, so it's it's kind of down to judgment calls, and provided somebody makes a judgment call in good faith, what, what right do I have to say that they did the right or the wrong thing? Because I don't know what they know. Um, and it, I didn't make the thing they made, and I wasn't empowered by anybody to say anything about it, if that makes sense. Are you so small? Because I'm a tiny boy! Woo! The same amount of magic in a tinier boy just makes you more powerful. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I guess I can run to the entrance. Oh wait, that other quest isn't... No, it wasn't here. I don't know, whatever. So yeah. There, they did it. Um, Journey to Mist. How do you do that? It didn't let me... Do you have to get there from Limsa Lominsa? Is that the idea? Whatever. Uh, okay, yes. Go back to... Ralgar's Reach. Which I really should have said is my home when I was there. There. Social housing, estate settings, apartment, view room details. Oh my god, okay, hold on. Thank you, Flannel Aviators. You provided direct, easy to understand. Yeah, I haven't. I don't have an apartment. Stay, oh wait, stay settings view apartment? View estate details? Because there is no apartment. Promise Neverland never sexualizes any of their underage characters, which is very refreshing because anime was a mistake. Good selling point. I don't have one. Yeah. Alas! Alright, let me do this while I'm here. Oh. Got 
God damn it. <sighs> cool. I can do even yet another one. Oh. Oh, there's good stuff in here. Oh. That is the... yeah. Huh, what? Oh. Look at that, 289 already. Booyah. Oh, oh wait, no. is it this one? What? What's wrong with me? Okay. Oh. Keep clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. Oh my god! It's a little bit of terrace theme in there? Weird. Okay. I guess I can just go through and buy everything I can afford. That's not so bad. Hopefully. Yeah, Bella, I definitely got to that point where, yeah, the the 20th time that an eight-year-old girl trips and shoves her ass in the air, shoves her panties off, I'm just like, it, it, it grinds you down. You definitely uh, can't, can't live there for very long. I don't even know how to say that. But. Yeah. No! No! Oh. Wait. There. Jeez. Uh, yep, so we... It's the magic combo. Little Lollafell boys running around with their big old heads. Their big, creepy heads. Oh, that's a big mount. Alright. Big, if true, mount. I'm looking for Daidar, or Daydar. A little bald-headed man. And if I kill his ass, then I can get some new pants. Oh, no, it's up here. Are you a little bald head? Any of you? No. Girl has a sizey bra and a waist the size of her pencil? Hey! That's just... spreading body positivity in the universe. It's letting everyone know that bodies like this can exist and are realistic, and you should look forward to meeting that person. And everyone that doesn't look like that should be ridiculed. If we're gonna, if we're gonna be real. And when are we not real? 100% real all the time. I'm sorry if that offends you. Like enough, Don Bluth. Yeah, Austin. One would think. One would think there's nothing. Oh, there's there's my head. There's my weird head. This is an enemy from six. I remember, like almost 
exactly this. Except, you know, a really pixelated JPEG. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know why I didn't think that was a problem. What? Oh. Shit. Wrong button. care of this stupid wolf man. This guy's gonna take a while. Alright. Can't run too far. Our aggro will reset. Alright, I think we're good. That VR wedding is great. Somebody finally found where he belonged in this world, and it was married to an anime girl. Good for him. He's a hero. I wonder if he's happy. Of course he's happy. You saw him and his beautiful bride. Don't have breasts and butts on a hero for saying this. Oh, wow. We need to get you on a press tour. Do you want to have a panel at PAX? What kind of keyboard do I have? It's a uh, Razer Black Widow. The first, the first line that they came out with. So I don't know what kind of switches it has. A lot of people ask about that. Also, today in particular, the mic is closer to my keyboard than ever before because of some equipment mishaps and desk rearrangements. But I got a more ergonomic setup now. Oh my god, it's Small Nugget again! He came back! Oh, I gotta give this... I gotta give this boy a cheer. Damn it. There. Give him, give him a little bow. Ah, uh, we have fun here. Small nugget fucking sweeping in. Shh, diving in from the sky. Alright. Let's see. Uh, we're at 295. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I can, like, sweep the left side with seals and then... More windows, y'all. Two ninety-eight. I think I'm gonna need to get rid of some of this stuff too. I got one thing that's not as okay. Ears. That's interesting. Uh, well, let me replace my earrings. Maybe that'll maybe that'll just do it, and then I can cue. What the hell? What? Why is that man sitting on... Sitting on the end of 2001? Oh! Okay. Huh. Thank you to whoever suggested seals and hunts, because that seemed like it was the critical path. We got there. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to use the restroom, and then we can finally start queuing for Dungeons and shit again. See you guys in a minute. Going down that easy. 
easily. Tombat! Are you alright? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. Monkar! What are you doing? That way is... Sorry, brothers. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Monka, you dirty... Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Huh? Ah! Oh. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the Monado when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs> If you think the Hawks, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken! You know, after about a thousand ditties, we finally get into the treehouse. We're gonna say hello to Tony Harmon. He is the product development manager here at Nintendo. Tony, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Welcome to the treehouse. Thank you very much. And I want to know, uh, I want to know the story behind the game. Are you here to talk about the story? I'm the wrong guy. We need to get Dan here. This is Dan Oh, Dan. What's up? How are you? Pretty good. Good, Dan. I want to know something about this story. Basically, we uh, had a chance to kind of create a new story for Donkey Kong. We gave him a world to live in, some supporting characters. Um, foremost among those, Diddy Kong, the little Kong wannabe monkey guy. Little Kong wannabe? Um, he's a cool little dude who follows Kong around, tries to be just like him. The story actually picks up with Diddy uh, sitting in the jungle guarding the banana horde. No sooner does the uh, storm start, nightfall, Kremlings come, uh, stuff Diddy Kremlings, in the barrel. What are Kremlings are the tribe of evil reptilian beings who inhabit the island, and they're very envious of Kong's banana stockpile. As we all are. Yes, as anyone would be. Yeah. And they stuff Diddy in the barrel, punt it in the bushes, and grab all the bananas and take, take off them, take off with the loot. Donkey wakes up and... Next day, Kong wakes up, where's my bananas? Uh, he goes out to find him. Rescue his little buddy, find out where he is. But Kong's angry, he's got his little buddy back, but he needs his bananas. Needs so we get the Kremlins, we got Diddy, and we get the big fella. Tony, did you have a favorite uh, character? Are there more characters in this? Ah, there's a lot of characters. I like the whole Kong family. We got Cranky. Cranky's the star of the original uh, Donkey Kong game. Still alive, Your is he? Dad or grandfather played that game. Uh, wow. Then we also have uh, Funky Kong. Funky's kind of the California circuit kind of. Funky Kong. Kong. Yeah, he That's runs nice. uh, Funky Flights, and the Funky Flights allow you to fly around in different parts of the game. We also got Candy Kong. Candy Kong is Donkey Kong's love interest. I mean. Okay, good. I was wondering. Maybe I could uh, take a look at the game? Yeah, sure. Right yeah. over here. These guys are so easy. <sighs> Psych, just kidding. Since it's Christmas, our gift to you is no commercials. Nada, zip, zero. Except maybe at the end. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Yeah. Put that face up on the screen again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> who, who was that woman? Was that Paul Newman's wife? She looks familiar to me, but I can't place her. Well, do you think that violates FCC regulations? What? what? You know, using a PSA not as a PSA? I don't know. Just... Well, anyway, ladies, prepare yourselves for the next segment. This show is rated TV 14, so any of you who can be stereotyped as a Republican and have young children in the room, prepare to take action. Here's our review for Tomb Raider 2. 
It's no big surprise that IDOS is moving up the video game food chain considering last year's mega hit Tomb Raider. The sequel uses the same formula to great success with minor control changes for sidestepping and of course all new worlds and vehicles. The game starts off with a peek at ancient China. A dragon attacks the Great Wall and a soldier notices a dagger embedded in his chest. Oddly, removing the dagger results in the dragon's death. Weird. You play Laura Croft, complete with front-loaded anvils, searching for the dagger centuries later. Your path to the dagger will take you just about everywhere, and that snow speeder kicks a major you-know-what. Tomb Raider has slightly more action than exploration this time around, but you may not notice the difference. This is good, because that way everybody's happy. Obviously, we're giving Tomb Raider 2 a good review. We fully expected to do so. We knew the game would be great, and it is, and we've only just scratched the surface. In answer to Lara's giant earrings, however, we have a challenge to IDOS. In Tomb Raider 3, create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. Imagine the drama of a vulnerable Lara Croft still persisting in her worldly adventures despite her illness. It needs fleshing out, no pun intended, but we guarantee the gaming world would be shocked, stunned, and moved at the effort to make Lara's character more meaningful. We love Lara, but it's about time the industry had a big shock for a change. It's no shock that Tomb Raider 2 is excellent. Everyone should buy it. Period. The end. More men headed to our house. Meet VA Mail 69 2005. He's the one who said there's just something about a teen body. He's 28 and thinks he's talking to a 14 year old. He's actually chatting with this 23 year old from Perverted Justice. He was by far the worst guy I've ever talked to. Dozens and dozens of cases yes. he's worked on. What separated him from the run of the mill computer predator? Bestiality, one word. <laughs> He chatted online for more than a week with our decoy and slowly introduced more and more depraved sexual requests. He even says he wants to involve a dog. As soon as the guy said, hey, maybe I'd want to do this, and he wasn't immediately slapped down, it's testing the waters. Was this all talk, or would this man actually walk into our kitchen? That's him coming in the door. How you doing? Why don't you have a seat right around that stool, please? What's happening? How much? What are you here for? Just coming to talk to him. Coming to talk to who? That's it. Why are you so nervous? I just got nervous. I was coming to talk to Aaron. How old is Aaron? <laughs> she didn't tell me. Try again. <laughs> I saw I saw 14. So you thought it was okay to come here to see a 14-year-old girl? No, I didn't. And you say, would you ever try anal? Ouch, that's like it could hurt. Not if done right. You have to be very gentle with that. Quite a Romeo. I'm, I'm a lonely guy. What can I say? He's more than just a lonely guy. We did a background check on VA mail, and it turns out his real name is Joe Wunderler, an Army sergeant stationed at Fort Belvoir at the Intelligence and Security Command. I've never done anything. I'm trying to get help with it. What are you doing to get help? I'm seeing a, a psychiatrist right now. Well, it doesn't look like it's working too well based upon all this. I just started talking to him. And this gets pretty freaky here. You talk about sex acts with a dog. It's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get help because I've gotten into fetishes that I, that I know aren't right. 
I guess you're going to tell me next that this is the very first time you've done something like this. Actually, it is. I'm serious. True or not, remember, this guy tried to entice a young teen into depraved sex acts. It only takes one encounter to harm a child forever. We set aside three days to see how many men would actually show up at our undercover house. To keep track of our appointments, we set up a bulletin board. It didn't take long to fill up our calendar. Total today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten so far. Some came bearing gifts like beer, condoms, and a pornographic tape. One man brought shoes and dinner just what the decoy ordered. You may not think that's significant, but Lieutenant Jake Jacoby, who runs a child services unit here in Virginia, says during undercover stings, it can help get convictions. At times when they show up, um, we like to have them either bring us something or do something so we can show that, that they're doing specifically what we asked them to do. Shows intent. It helps, yes. The men who show up at this house looking for a liaison with a child come from very different backgrounds. And as our investigation unfolds, you might be surprised at just how diverse our group gets. Some hold very prominent positions, more prominent than you'd ever imagine. What do you do for a living? Ooh, it is looking pretty bad there. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, watch out there, Jeremy. Let's go. Now, no, I think it's uh, Jeremy and Jason still here. But it's looking pretty good for Eddie here. I'm telling you what right now. Eddie's burning the barn down. He is doing that. Folks, in the first game of Super Mario, we give you a score. Whatever you come up with, we give it flat to you. Boom, right there. You make 32,000, you got 32,000. In game number two, you get 6,200 6, points just for finishing the course, and one of the bonus points for a pin. Should come out in the 90s. 99, 940, very good. Just under 100,000 points. Ooh, nice thing. All right, he's very, he's very intense. That's concentration, I'm telling you. All right, game number three, here's a good point. Here's the good part, the good news. We're going to give you your score times 10. Wow, check it out here. Jason is ready for a Tetris. Let's see if they give it to him or not. He's stacked up at least four high all the way across. He's left the channel here. Tetris is completing four lines simultaneously with one piece. You're going to see it any moment now. Look at his preview box where it says next. That's where we find out what kind of piece they're going to put. Ooh, uh oh. They're going to make him sweat. Yeah, keep that out of the way. Just in the nick of time, blam, very nice to give you 1,211 points of that. Ooh, good game there, Jason. Now, let's see if you're going to give Jeremy anything to work with this time. Last time, they were a little bit stingy on what they gave him. All right, he's not quite ready for that, I don't think. So, let me see. He's going to go for the triple, I think. But, ooh, watch out if you're on top, Jason. Look out, buddy. Oh, just get it out of the way somehow. There you go. Oh man, they're gonna, they're gonna, they pulled this on Jeremy last time, I think, and now they're gonna do to Jason. Well, hey, that's what happens when you play hard, but let's go one. Now let's take a look at the nominees for Best Actress in this new and exciting field. And they are... Grace Zabrinsky, Voyeur. Good. Shut up. Frank. Eileen Weisinger, Critical Path. Oh, Jesus. Now we depart and get back to Greer. No, I'm not leaving you here. Tanya Kaiser, Man Enough. That's a more business-like approach from you. I like it. And Virginia Capers, Bill from Gabriel Lyme. Knight. Yeah, that's that. A little cold bubble and brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has in it. And it is my pleasure to announce that the award for the best actor female goes to end.
There it is. Grace Sabrisky, voyeur. in our existence, a vast new space which I like to call the future. A future dominated by such innovations as computer animation and laser technology, and by guys like me, who simply like to blow stuff up for no reason at all. Fire, real big in music videos these days. Never attempt these at home, especially homes you intend to live in. It's amazing what minor surgery can do for some videos. While in my case here, it's nothing more complex than a jet stream of pure helium running up my pant leg into my neck. Video special effects grow more and more complex. Amazing things can be done. Everything from... <sighs> All right, I'm back. Yeah, the uh, audio in our live streams isn't the hottest. That I will freely admit to. Um... But now that there's a hard limiter in OBS, I actually probably could have more options. Basically, if you just dump a load of gain and hard limit the mics, then that makes it way more viable to audio balance everything else about it. Hey, Andrew, thanks for the reset. Almost a year, huh? Year of Amazon money. Okay. I can do the thing now. I can do it. Oh wait, Stormblood. <sighs> we ready? For some real shit? Although, I don't know how long the average attempt is five minutes. That's right, my goal was I would do the Hildebrand quests while queuing. For some reason it won't let me go to miss to finish out this stupid stupid quest I did ask you to reset again I don't know twitch is quirky sometimes it just forgets this stuff Care about screen too yeah actually I've been I played it a little bit it is a fun video game yeah it would if we were all in the office and and really really doing it I think um, we would probably have done a no pixel video, and then also, yeah, Risk of Rain. I would have put one together, but Arizona Circle got us scattered to the winds. Twelve months is going to be a week later. Does it actually reset the timer like that? I actually don't know the particulars of how that works. Should get some fast cues. Yeah, we'll see. It's also weird. There's no field music over here. Oh, let's go DPS. Got that low IQ. You just want to slap the buttons. Get your, get your money coins and your gems, your crystals. Get your gold coins. Boy, we are really... Really just puttering, puttering on across the whole world. Never get into any dungeons because everyone is a DPS. Isn't that always the case, though? Every MMO, everyone wants to DPS all the time. That's why I always go healer tank. Yeah, that way I, I just Q's pop pretty quickly. Bang. Alright. First dungeon. I have to apologize right off the bat.
serving my own Leviathan. Item level has been synced to 370. Jesus. Okay, let's see how ridiculous uh, damage at this level is. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna pull multiple. Can't tell. He keeps moving. Could have done this earlier. I think he was being kind and not pulling a whole lot. Thoughts on Shadowbringers? I haven't really followed anything about it, so I don't have I don't have thoughts. I'm not even caught up on patch stuff, so. The years go by and they keep patching this game. Fourteen was a wild player until this expansion. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, oh, a lot of World of Warcraft refugees in fourteen, is my understanding. I think they're being nice. Try a big pull. We'll see. Got my hand on the instant heal. Oh fuck, that's a big pull. Fuck. Sorry. I can't tell if I should... Oh, fuck. Light in here? Righteous Penguin. Thank you guys for resubbing. Well, Righteous Penguin, thank you for up. Anyone playing 10? Yeah, Nomura is a madman. I'm learning to appreciate it, but it's difficult. Oh, we got a seahorse? A kelpie. That's a thing, right? Ah! Got sick of time gaining the pointless grinds. Streamlining of classes. They moved or reduced RPG elements and made everything bland. Really? I am not that familiar with it. Uh, to be frank, I'm, I'm kind of behind the times, so... That would be a bummer. Sad if true. But yeah, Jeff, the soundtrack is, is pretty great. Hydro push, what does that mean? Oh. It means that. A lot of bass in the background? Yeah, there might be. That might just be room noise. Um, I I fiddled with the EQ on my mic a little bit, so it might be pulling up a lot of the uh, 
A lot of just the room noise and making a rumble out of it. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, oh, we gotta go to each other's? What is it? What does that mean? I don't know what this means. What the... Okay, whatever. God, there's just a lot of walking around in games like... Or a lot of movement. I think it's the best way to play this game. I like it a lot. It's fun. It um, requires a lot of movement and forward thinking. And asset management. What does this do? You just have to not let the balls touch. <laughs> oh, I guess they explode. Okay, okay. If they if the balls get too close to each other, <laughs> then uh, they explode. Oh, I forgot about divine venison. I need to use that more, or ever. Oh, that's right. There's like a stack system too, that I don't know what it does. So what is it? Construct a barrier. Ah, whatever. Ooh! Amulet of healing! Oh yeah, I want that. Huzzah! Wait, what? That was low. 279? Oh. Wait. Amulet of healing. Where did that go? Did I not. Huh? I could equip the wrong thing? I did. What is the amulet? Oh, it's a arm thing. Okay, there. Jeez. No. Oh, don't get killed. Use the equipment optimizer. Saves you the headache. Oh, okay. That's good thinking. That's some quality thinking right there. Fuck. Along with the dungeons. Depends on your team. I want to say the, the most common ones are like 30 minutes? 15 to 25? Okay. Yeah. That sounds much more accurate. Hey, Resonator. How you doing? Ow. Frickin' ow.
so much time to kill. Managed to fuck, fuck, fuck up your foot? How? What's, uh... What'd you do? I never tried Astro, Crispy. I've been White Mage since uh, Realm Reborn. I think I might have been White Mage in 1.0. Get out of here, stone foe bad. Scholar's a lot of fun too. Yeah, I should probably explore around at some point, but I feel like I'm still bad at being a healer. Kind of what I always say. I feel like until I've I've mastered the art of the staff. Or at least like I feel like I should do all of this stuff as one class before I try another one. Especially if I'm still enjoying that class. Near Automata, no, because I'm a coward. The hell's Troubadour's ballad? What did I just. Oh, no, somebody give that to me. I thought about starting near today, but. So much to do. So many video games. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't played it. Why? I mean, I'm playing this now. This is kind of up, up my alley, too. Uh-oh. What the fuck? What? Kill these things, I guess? Seems to be the order of the day. Okay. Hey. Falcon, you don't like Wallafell? Come on. Wallafell are important. Okay, sure. Why not? Oh, they blow up after a while. Okay. This is weird. Yeah, there's a lot of gnome energy going on in this fight. What a weird multi doll men. With an eye laser inside, sure. Sure, why not? All right. <sighs> Good stuff. Darn it. Yeah, it's already 315, so... It's 
going somewhere. I've heard heard that tune. I've played so many times. Ah! Another amulet of healing! But I already have one, so whatever. Actually, I should probably be needing everything and selling it, right? So I get money. Because I don't have any. Daisy. Betraying people in Alta 4 and quitting the game and you encountered a zombie horde for the first time? Aw, oh, man. That is, those are some classic trolls. Some of the, like, some of the videos that came out of people playing DayZ were amazing. I never, I could never get into the game myself. Just didn't have the desire to. Turn them into your grand company? You can turn in gear? What does that do? What's up, Tony Chunga? Oh. Alright. We're all this thing now. Get adventure tokens for your retainers or get seals. That's useful. What's up, Uber? Change the seals for glam prisms. Those usually sell pretty well. Oh my god. That is more intricate than I thought. Are you Uber's here? See you, Bella! Have a good night! It's a mummy! Why? Oh. Oh, okay. These boys can float. That's why we become puffy mans. Oh, oops. I'm supposed to greet it. Oh, you're not leaving? Never mind. Thought you had an Uber. I was like, oh, Bella's going. Bella's going out. Good for her. She's got exciting afternoon plans. <laughs> ah, just dying slowly indoors like always. Shit. Oh, I, yeah. A user named Uber. Got it. Yes, indeed. I remember him. I remember him fondly. You're writing an essay? Cool. Well, I filed my taxes yesterday. I've never been audited, so hopefully we keep that streak alive. Daniel Craig's ugly face. He was alright in Layer Cake. Right? I thought so. Fuck! Lots of subplots on layer cake. Yeah. There's like a whole... There's a whole weird underground of like British crime shows that try to have as many hushed storylines all going on at the same time. Yeah. Sassy British gangster flicks. GD, that's the perfect way to describe them. Who's that guy? Oh, furries, wake up! 
Time to pay attention and get those Wacom tablets all warmed up. We got a ripped dragon tiger. I am also a potato. You ever read Hot Chili Peppers Tribute Band? Awesome. Fucking awesome. I'd like to think this game is kind of like Red Hot Chili Peppers in spirit. Oh boy. Yep. I don't know what that does. Ow! Fuck! Oh wait, do you want to stand in this? Wait, what's going on? Weird. All right, whatever. Everything's fine. Everything's good. We're all cool here. How are you? Race class you gonna be when classic comes out? I don't know that I'm gonna play it. I played it back in the day, man. I don't, uh, uh, I don't know that I need more in my life. Maybe I do. I'll, yeah, I'll probably just have too much beer one of these nights and just buy it impulse. Yeah, I'm white mage right now. I don't know. Accordingly, I was I was holy priest in the day. I'm not always a healer, you guys. But I I did um, Warrior Tank Classic Wild Lot too. Herodric Poison Tog. We got some anime fights, don't we? Oh, don't, nope, nope, nope. Played a rogue in classic. Rogue seems real seemed really fun in classic. You can get get into some hijinks. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm confused. Sorry. It's funny how they still do that. Hey Fox, twenty one oh two. Oh yeah, hot dog. Gotta find him again someday. Don't, 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 don't. Fuck. Didn't have a, uh. Fuck. Shit. I always click that. I feel like it's, I'm hitting the button to launch a missile. Fuck. God. My boys are taking some hits. Taking some big hits. Please don't get hit again. I mean, you have to, but you know what I mean. What does that mean? What are you doing? DPS race. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, hot dog. Yes. Jaw. Yeah. Saw dog New Vegas for Fallout 4. It was New, it was New Vegas. Fallout 4 was Gort. A man with no intelligence, because I was hoping that would, like, change the game somehow, and it kind of doesn't. Oh wait, no, that's... would have to be a feeling. Oh, 
No, thank you. Got accommodation, though, yeah. Yeah, they were cool, boys. I haven't had uh, issues with other players in this game a lot. Occasionally, somebody will get really mouthy. <sighs> they start doing that thing where, like, they tell you what to do, even though there's nothing going on. Nothing's wrong. They just get, they're mad that you're not doing it their way. Right. Hey, Blake. Time for our next episode of Anime Adventures. Ah, it seems both our paths led here. Very good. Could those subtitles be any smaller? Uh, I think they can, actually, but yeah, they're real tiny. We spend altogether too much time fleeing fiends horrid and numerous. How fared you? They, um... This game is, like, the basic UI and layout of it is about five or six years old at this point. So they have a thing, kind of like WoW does, to just scale up the entire UI, which helps a little bit and makes it... But there is something about just blobby, bubbly windows that make it look very old. Much the same, then. It would appear this place is yet inhabited by King Theodoric's kin, or what is left of them. The work of terrible magics, I fear. Terrible, aye. But their misfortune is our... fortune? Quite. Five, twelve, there is even more than I imagined. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Lisa's face. Thanks for believing in me, you two. Did it. The story marches on. Oh, the subreddit's been brutal. Yeah. It's been... It's been kind of rough all around. It's interesting, we knew that like shooting stuff was going to have a cost, and I didn't know that it was going to be this. That like, all the- it would just basically work as a distraction. It's not enough to just, you know, put coins in the meter. Let's see. I've got other stuff to do, too. There was something called the Battle Sphere? I want to do that. don't know where it was. Oh, the Delta Escape. It's a raid, though. Isn't that a... Hold on, let me look that up. Yeah, Sailing Saturn. I, I hope, uh... Hope 5.0 is cool. Raid boss fights in a row? Okay. So it's like three bosses. Four per tier. Eh. Just a bit of misogyny. Just a little sprinkle. Just people being asses, bring someone new and fresh to the team, and they'll hate them. Alana's awesome. Alana is awesome. I think I think mostly where a lot of it's coming from is like <sighs> making some mistakes around a property that somebody that a lot of people really, really like, and then being kind of flippant about the treatment of it. I think is what it is. It's, uh, happens now and again, and it's never a good time. If you, if you botch mess messaging on something. <laughs> Players engage to defeat Alteroite? Alteroite? Flame orbs, which spawn in various patterns around the room after class flame. They start small flare up and explode with almost no ground indicator. It's a good idea to avoid it standing around them. Two attacks can move the flame orbs around. Um, downburst, which knocks players and flame orbs away. Do not run into downburst, circular AoE, as it will kill even a tank. The other is Breathwing. We'll fly to one end of the room and knock all players away from that direction. 
Sitting near him will allow you to avoid this attack. Oy. The normals are all very easy. Usually they are. I just thought I'd read up on it. You can probably do them all blind. Alright, well I'll go for it then. Also, something called the Delta Escape sounds cool. That's responsible enough. Appreciate it. You've, uh, you've given me the permission I needed to just dive right into the queue. Before Raid Roulette, getting a queue took forever with these? Yeah. The Roulette is a super great idea. I'm glad that they do it. They even added more stuff, right? It was like, what? There was like a book you could fill out with past exploits or something? They're really gonna be big mad if you talk about their favorite thing in a way that differs from how they do either way. Nothing you can really do against it. Um, you can do some stuff. I think you you just have to be reverent and acknowledge acknowledge them. You know, acknowledge. It's all about acknowledgement. I know that you are here and that you know about this more than I do. I mean, you will get mad at me, but here's what I think. I'm one of those people that chill out the truly awful players, because I'm sure you're not one of those as long as half the people know what the normals are, what they're doing, the normals are easy to carry. Yeah, especially on normal roulette, right? Like, this is an extreme, where you, you have to memorize 15 minutes of attack rotations, and if you mess up once, you are done. Savage is so fun, though. Yeah. I've done a few Savages. Um, well, wait, no, I don't think I've ever done a Savage. I've done Extremes. A few. Like, in early Realm Reborn. But I never had the time to get up into that level. I've got them mostly unlocked. I just haven't passed any of them. I, like, have some of the Realm Reborn Extreme quests still in my quest log. Booyah! We got some plot happening. Here we go. So let me that Monster Hunter event. At least on 14 you have more than one battle res, not like WoW. Yeah, healers, healers battle res is, is just swift cast. And that's on a cooldown, it's not, it's pretty useful. Other other um, other classes have stuff, right? Oh, that's right. It's like your cyber chocobo or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is the first time Delta Escape. First time on the Delta Escape. on everybody. Yo, is there a problem? Let me cast Medica. Alright, we good. Breathwing? What does that do? Oh, this thing right to stand close. That's right. Got it. It's really like three of these. Yeah, 
This is pretty easy. Oh, casting damage spells. Not just sitting there doing nothing. Ah! Fuck. Wasn't expecting that. Oh. Oh, shit. I was iced! I was iced! Yeah. <laughs> I did say this is easy, didn't I? I got this! Shot over here. Ow. Oh. Yeah. I think John Smith has worked on um, various game prototypes. I really hope he ends up making something. I would love to see what, what comes out of his mind. HP. The fuck was that? I was not paying attention. That seemed bad. Sheer mechanic. Quite a few bosses have them. What does it just take everyone down to like one HP? Oh, drop everyone to critical health but can't kill. Okay. So it's a it's a healer tesser. Yeah. There's always a follow-up to kill you? Okay. So you just have to save your like insta cooldowns basically. Burst healing test. Makes sense! Deltas keep chains and bolts. This is the thing where you have to like, you have to grind out here and you can turn in like five bolts for a pair of gloves or something. I feel bad needing on any of this because I don't know if I'll have any of it ever. So, like if I'll ever do this enough, y'all can take it. I don't even know what it's for. Play five. All the Delta Escape bosses from the final dungeon for five. Nega is using his powers to construct real versions of the most powerful entities he has in his data banks. Turns out the first two raids are composed entirely of characters that are fictional from the 14 universe bosses from five and six. Sigma Escape is all Final Fantasy VI bosses. Interesting. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. This is how they're they're sort of working in referential bosses. I guess that works better than a whatever. It could just be a dungeon with a thing in it. Instead of this cyber egg. Uh, Kefka fight? Oh shit! Does it play Dancing Mad? I didn't know there was Kefka. Oh yeah, there's a baby dragon. He's very wise. God, Kefka's the savage-only phase. Or he's like, 
just jacked and like shirtless with like angel wings and shit. Let's see all the guest creators they're getting for Shadowbringers. No. What is Shadowbringers? That sounds familiar. Also a Puerta, thank you for the prime sub. Oh, name, oh right, 5.0, duh. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Uh, I, I was even watching um, FanFest, where they announced it while I was doing an Insanity workout. Um, but it was all in Japanese, so I didn't understand most of it. Floor looks like a magic eye photo. That's some deep tessellation, jeez. Uh. Uh. Excuse me. Final Fantasy is all about crystals, you're correct. Is it a Final Fantasy game? Show me the goddamn crystals. 13 really wanted to be about crystals. Just watch Sigma Scape Kef Kef Blah. Sigma Scape Kefka on YouTube and oh my god, nostalgia. That's what I live for with these with 14, is like getting to those beats. We going 2.0? Love Stormblood. Stormblood was, uh. Yeah, it was a lot of throwbacks. It was, I mean, Cyan. Cyan's theme was all over it. Like that one character whose theme was basically, was exactly Cyan's theme. I can't remember. He was a cool dude, though. Huh. Okay. I've been playing this for a while, too. I'm gonna put this down and move on to the next thing. That was Cyan's son. I thought that was right. I was like, it was his dad, I think? Because, oh. um, yeah, it was Doma. Like, it was actually the place. I don't I don't know. I don't remember the place looking like Super Nintendo art. But I don't know if it's supposed to be canon or not. Yeah, I'd love, an, uh, I'd love another fun fact, Dreyfus. What you got for me? Bleepo, bleepo, bleepo. Hien's... Oh, Hien's father is looking... Blah. His name is localized as Kayan. Like Kane from 4? Do the near tutorial. Oh, which is how Cyan is actually supposed to be pronounced in Japanese. Ah. Cyan. Okay. That is cool. It's a fun fact. Uh, I could do the near tutorial, or I could play Sonic Mania. I could do one of those two things. We'll have to find out, won't we? I'll be back in a minute. from all over Virginia, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. arrived at this house after chatting about sex, thinking they were meeting a 12, 13, or 14-year-old who was home alone. 19 men in three days, from the down and out to 